this video is dedicated to all of you guys who have supported me over the years and helped this channel reach 1 million subscribers. It's pretty mind-blowing from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so very much for making my dreams become true. And instead of doing like a YouTube rewind for myself, so to speak, I thought I'd go a little bit further and discuss the phases every guitar player goes through from right when they pick up the guitar for the very first time ever all the way up to wherever they end up. I think you guys are gonna be able to relate to a lot of these various phases in a guitar player's life. And while some of them are going to be a little catered to my own personal experiences, I'm sure there'll be some common ground among all these phases and your own personal journeys playing the guitar. Without further ado, let's get to it. Starting with... You've never picked up a guitar before. And it shows. As your friend who actually plays guitar tells you to put that down, you feel a little spark. That spark is your first meeting with the guitar. That spark leads to... Single string riffs are your middle name. You can rock the 007 theme, Seven Nation Army, and a host of other classic tunes. No twinkle twinkle little star for this guy. You're already a pro, until you meet. You'll never be able to play like this kid. He's unbelievable. He's incredible. He's not that good, actually. You don't realize that now, but you will when you become You've got some guitar lessons, whether it's with a teacher or online, or simply a more disciplined playing schedule. You're making progress faster now than you ever will again. And it's glorious. Awesome. Until. Right. <laughs> Nothing sounds good. You can't remember any riffs you learned. Your fingers aren't stretching to play the chord shapes you thought you'd mastered. Any attempts at learning new songs are futile. What the heck? You're gonna quit. It was fun while it lasted, but let's be real. You're never gonna be a rock star. You should just give up. You should just put the guitar in the corner. Just give up. And you do. But then, maybe it was the chemical balance of your biological makeup that day. Maybe it was a song you heard. Maybe it was that attractive individual you saw while you were out. Whatever happened, it made you pick up and dust off the old six string. The floodgates were open again, and that led to You've got the pentatonic scale down cold. You can hold your own at any blues jam in the city, and all your friends think you're a virtuoso. You can play so well, you might even be ready for a new guitar, because that will really kick up your skills to the next level. And so it begins. You buy a new guitar, you trade it in for another one. You buy a new amp, you trade it in for another one. You buy a new pedal, you trade it in for another one. Constantly searching for gear that makes you feel awesome. So much gear, so little time. You're not really good enough to know what different gear can really do for you, but you don't know that. All you know is Guitar Center is your home now. never want to leave until you found musical nirvana not the band that was back in the novice days now you've got a guitar that feels like home and you're practicing hours a day and you're not just jamming over backing tracks you've got a real routine we're talking scales chord positions and even arpeggios techniques like sweet picking and legato are no longer foreign words to you. Your friends are listening to terrible pop music and rap while you study at the altar of Satriani. You are an outcast, but you embrace it. And then, 
You've joined a band. Maybe it's the metal band that goes on at 11.30 at night at the local dive bar. Maybe you're solo outside the wine bar downtown, busking on the street outside, near the farmer's market. Whatever it is, you're getting much needed experience for when you ultimately become... You didn't want to play in a cover band, but you need the money. And this money is unbelievable compared to the pennies you made before. We're talking three figures. We're talking drink tickets. We're talking pop country. You realize the riffs in this otherwise abysmal music genre are pretty awesome. Plus, the money is good. So good, you can start to indulge a little bit. But that indulgence soon gets a little out of control. And before you know it, you have more guitars than you could ever need. You have enough pedals to sink a canoe. Your amp collection is now impossibly big. And the worst part is, you don't like any of it. You just need more. You're sick. And in the meantime, you're still gigging with that cover band. And the gigs are getting more and more unbearable. You can't take the idiots in the band, the drunk morons in the crowd, the confederate flags, or the lyrics about cold beer, blue jeans, and tractors any longer. So you quit and become... You get a job at your local music school. You're teaching 15 students a week and growing because you're good at it. Like the cover band, but on steroids, you're making more money than ever, paying the bills with your guitar skills. All is well. Until little Timmy doesn't show up for his lesson. And little Sally's mom can't pay for the month of lessons you've already given. Hey, uh, Mrs. Smith, uh, your check bounced for Timmy's lessons. I was just wondering if, uh... Hello? Hello? And old man Jimbo never practices and always stays about 30 minutes over the time limit of the lesson, talking about the old days. You're starting to hate teaching lessons, which isn't good because you don't want to tarnish your relationship with music. But what other option is there? It's either this or get a real job. And here is the fork in the road. Some people do go on to get a real job, while the guitar just becomes a hobby. Some people continue to teach. Some people evolve into new phases, such as luthiers, or session guitarists, or manufacturers, or engineers, or something else. Either way, big or small, the guitar is always part of their life, and it can never be forgotten or replaced. No one direction is right or better than the other one. There is one other path that some take, however. It's the path I took. Start with the idea of teaching one lesson one time to thousands of people, instead of the same lesson dozens of times to dozens of people. So you pour your heart and soul into a curriculum. You post it online. It's perfect. But then you found a fatal flaw in your plan. Nobody knew who you were. You have no credibility. How are you going to reach anybody? And then it hits you. All Steve Vai does is play a million notes per second. He has no feel. Space by Taylor Swift. subscribers may seem a long way off right now, but you're closer than you think, and we're rooting for you. Congratulations. Sincerely, Susan Wojcicki, CEO, YouTube. Oh.